Tonight's episode is the Mechanist versus the Roboticist badge. Welcome to the Possum Scouts. We are definitely not in the tadpoles anymore, and me being me, I decided to tackle the three more challenging badges first. This one doesn't look that difficult, but sometimes tracking down the plans for robot armor can be tricky, but I have quite a few spawn points to show you that'll help you out. We also have to take a few pictures, finish back on the beat quest, take a tour of Robco, and have to destroy- hold up, that just says 30 robots with an Assaultron blade? Wow, I completely misread that before editing. I thought I said destroy 30 Assaultrons with an Assaultron blade. Oh, this is embarrassing. Uh, Note to self, no more working on badge guides at 3 a.m. after a 10 hour shift and sipping on rum because that's what happens. No wonder why automation was all the rage in 2077. Humans make too many mistakes. Okay, moving on. Let's start this badge off right by testing our robo brains and taking that exam. Terminals can be found at scout camps like here at Camp Adams, and I've linked the exam answers in the description below. I have also decided to dress the part. I love the mechanist and I had to get this outfit when I saw it out. Dressing the part is not required, but for me, it just adds to the fun. Okay, so let's begin with back on the beat. This event happens in Morgantown. It usually pops up just by being within proximity of Morgantown. It took me a few server hops to trigger it, so just be patient and keep an eye on the area for when it does show up. In this event, you need to reactivate Steelheart and defend it from waves of ghouls. It can be really fun to do when this place is nuked. If you're by yourself, it can be easy to fail as Steelheart is kind of weak, so just be quick about dispatching any ghouls that get close. Finish the quest and check that off the list. The part that has most players held back from completing this badge is getting plans for robot armor pieces. These plans don't show up at any in-game vendors that I found, but that's okay, I do know where you can find these plans. First up, they can be rewarded for some events and can even be dug up from treasure mounds. I found them from Savage Divide Mounds in my Digging Up 300 Treasure Mounds video and you can sometimes find them at player vendors like mine. They're often a little bit overpriced as they're pretty sought after. I personally like to do things on the cheap and I found mine out in the world. There are over 50 world spawns that could potentially give you robot armor plans and I'm gonna be going over 15 of those that I've had the best luck with and relatively easy to server hop to. I didn't have much luck in the lower level regions. Also, there is a difference between armor plans and armor mod plans and they don't spawn in the same spots. So we want just the good old basic armor plans. If you check these spots out and you find that the plans are not there, it just means that someone has beat you to it on the server already. In the Savage Divide, there are tons of plans scattered around in this area. Just this one spot next to the armor workbench at the market in Pleasant Valley Cabins will give you the armor plans. New Appalachian Central Train Yard has a plan spot on this shelf near the armor workbench. And at 98 NAR Regional, inside of this fallen box car, you'll find an armor plan spawn. Sunday Brothers Cabin has a spawn in the workshop. There are two in Harper's Ferry and these are very often cleared out because it's a very popular spot. This display case right against the wall and then upstairs in this display case right here. In the central area of Camp Venture, right next to this fridge on this metal shelf is also a spot. At KMAX Transmission, a spawn is on the barrel by the weapons workbench outside. Up on the rooftops of the General Steakhouse by this electric chair is a planned spawn. You can find one in the workshop at Ranger District Office. Drop Site C2 is a popular farming spot. It's inside near the metal box on the shelf. There are two spots at Flooded Train Yard. One is in the workshop near the armor workbench, and one is located in this boxcar on the open shelf cabinet. If you head west of Watoga Station, on this crate in an open boxcar is a very popular spawn. And just a little further down at NAR Repair Yard, inside the workshop is another spot. And that makes 15. There are a few more around, but I find them not as easy to server hop or in a bit more of a treacherous area. 
I have all of these on a handy little map I made. The link is in the description. There are a ton of different armor plans that you can find, like the marine wetsuit, the tactical helmet plans, various brotherhood of steel under armors, and more. But visit these spots enough times and you're bound to get a complete set of robot armor plans. It just might take a little bit of hopping around. Just crafting one of each piece, either light, sturdy, or heavy, should be enough to check off our badge requirement. I'm just planning on scrapping these after. I'm far too attached to my weapon weight reduction legendary armor pieces. Okay, it's time to grab that camera. We need to take some photos of robots. If you need some help unlocking the camera, I've made a handy guide on how to find the tourist every time with my tourist trap map. We need to snag a photo of six different robots and you can find almost all of them in a few locations. Robots can be found all over the city of the future in Watoga. Also Robco Research Center, the White Springs, the White Springs Bunker, so many spots. I'm going to start with the Liberators, which could be found in the base under Mama Dolce's, Charleston Train Yard, and all over outside Fault 76. For the rest of them, I'm heading over to Robco, being that we need to go that way anyways. Outside there are a bunch of busted robots, and pictures of these do count. Got our Asseltron, Tektron, Mr. Handy Variant, Sentry Bot, and iBot. Sparks, my trusty iBot, is that you? Okay, next up, here at Robco, we need to take the Junior Roboticist Tour. The starting point is right where you see the Pioneer Scout symbol. Just activate the speaker boxes and follow along. Welcome to the Robco Research Center. I had to jump servers real quick as the markers weren't popping up for me. The next spot is at the monorail. After that, we need to head inside and down the elevator. Back up the elevator again and through the doors to the research wing. Okay then, that's not a bug or anything. The next spot is right in front of the robotics technology facility. And from there you want to head upstairs outside quality control. The next spot is actually right below us down one floor, right in front of the iBot statue. Look at this children, it's an iBot. Then in the same room in front of the RoboBrain research and development. And finally, back upstairs in front of the office. Have a great day! And remember, loose lips sink ships! And that concludes the tour. Another check off of our badge requirements. And the last thing we need to do is get an Assaultron Blade and take down 30 robots. What better way to learn about robots than smashing a few apart, am I right? I swear, I read that as destroy Assaultrons with an Assaultron Blade, and so that's what I did. I took on a bunch of Assaultrons and various robots around the perimeter of White Springs for this, and I could have made my life so much easier by hitting up lower level areas. Oh well, you live and learn, right? At least I got all that XP. You can find an Assaultron Blade oftentimes as a drop from Assaultrons. You can also find the plans for the blade on the dual wielding Assaultrons, or from the Free States and Watoga vendor bots. To craft it, you'll need makeshift warrior rank 5 and an Assaultron circuit board. There's one constant world spawn that I know of at least at Miner's Monument. You can also find a unique blade called the Gutter from finishing waste management down in the burrows. I'm just going to use one that I got from the Prevera a while back. It's nothing super special, but it'll do the job. Now just take out 30 robots with it. No, they don't all have to be Assaultrons. Save yourself the headache and take out the little Liberators around. If you do feel like taking Assaultrons head on though, I find it best to take out their legs first and then you only really have to worry about their massive laser beam. And I have a particular bone to pick with this one at the end of Sugar Grove. I have died to you while farming springs far too many times. Vengeance will be mine. And badge completed. That wasn't too bad, right? 
I really hope that all y'all have all the luck in tracking down those robot armor plans with this guide, and if you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit me up with a like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I get the next one out. I have a lot of video ideas other than scout guides that I'd like to make when time permits, and having my channel grow so much lately has really motivated me to work on them. Maybe not at 3am and 3 shots of rum in next time, but at a more reasonable hour and maybe just one glass of scotch. Well, anyways, that's it for me today. I'm Wickedy, and I'll see you in the next one.